Hello and welcome to Let's Play Slay Cooper Thieves in Time Part 2! My Insomniac! My Insomniacs. In insomniacs. Yeah, it'll work on it. Um, so, I have some explaining to do. Part A of my explaining is that Part 1 doesn't have any commentary. And that's because, well... I, uh... It's having some difficulties, some technical difficulties trying to get them to to YouTube. Um, mostly with the software in which I use to upload it. Ah, it's a long, boring story. You don't want to know about it. But um, there was part B is that there was just a lot of like cutscene type stuff anyway. So I just figured. You know, we'd start here, yeah! Um, and then I also need to make a note. Um, I missed it on this go around, but there's a, like, little mask token thing in this level. Um, and it's actually to the left, right there. I believe. Um, it's either at that left or the very first room like this that we went into was that left. But. I don't know, do you guys want me to try and find all of them? If not, I don't know, just let me know. Be like, yeah, we want to see them! Or be like, no, why would why would we care? That's mm, silly. To the schematics, silly man. Uh, <laughs> but, do, yes. Voila, anyway, this part does have commentary. And that's what matters. Just like how Bentley has the skills to pay the bills. Yeah. Um, but it's funny how that one, how that one is so, like, ready for him. But wait for it, wait for it. This one that we're in control for is completely malfunctioning. Wonderful, isn't it? I also like how his, how his, how his wheelchair's got the boost. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So the best way to take those guys on is to just throw a bomb at them. I think it worked really well this time. Um, and usually I just go in and like wheelchair spin them, but I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna do it this way. And then, as you can see on the little chalkboard drawings and up here, there's like some sort of airship. And you know, here they're just teaching us. They're just like, hey, so you drive. Hacking. I really like hacking. This one's like, hey, gotta shoot fireballs and stuff. And I was like, done, done, shooting it. And it's pretty great. Um, and then now they're like, hey, they're keys. You know, to open things. I'm like, done. I will open them. And then as soon as you put the key. In the key slot, I don't, I don't know what that's called. The key port, USB, micro USB. Anyway, as soon as you put it in there, it's, it's done, done. You don't even have to worry about the wall anymore. It's gone, even though you can still see it. I really like the Panzer tank. Um, just, just the raw power. And give me, give me a second. Let me realize that I was like, oh hey. Yeah, yeah. I opened that up, and then I try grabbing the key, not realizing that I need to, you know, change. But it's okay. Um, what was I talking about? I don't even know. Uh, I really like hacking. Hacking's hacking's pretty good, pretty fun. And that's the way the code and that's the way... No, it's Cookie. Okay, Murray, cookie Crumbles. Now, I like playing as Murray, but I don't like fighting these rats. I find out later, like, in a minute, what to do, but when it starts off, there's just, they just got so much rain with their little, little fart guns. Little, little fart, fart guns. They're just like... <laughs> It's great. It's fantastic. But, no, no, I'm like, ah, the farts! All of it. 
everywhere. Sorry, this is like <laughs> the um umpteenth time that I've tried recording this commentary. Just the commentary. This is post commentary. Um, you know, five minutes into the recording. Um, because I couldn't find my microphone when I recorded. Hold on. Couldn't find my microphone when I recorded it. Um, and then, when I did have microphones, I was like, Oh, I'm recording it! And I recorded everything to find out that it didn't pick up any of the audio. None of it. Made me salty. Then I had to try and find something to pick up the audio, and I was just like, This is so terrible! What's going on? But I got it. Uh, it's... Oh yeah, and... Uh, throwing things, throwing them, it's fantastic. They're so lightweight. There's boom, boom. Um, and then the spin attack. If you spin like into their attack, ooh, ooh, meta. Um, then you don't get hurt. You're like my fist, your gas. Um, this part's pretty fun. Oh no, spoilers! Ooh, they left me a. Left me a voicemail. Huh? Where did and you come from, short some darn Commercial calls. Whatever you do, don't ever give out your phone number. Ever. Sorry, I don't know. Um they're like, get down, hippo, get down, and you're like, alright. Do no one! Slack. Word. I am the greatest. Now it is. Stone Cold Steve Murray. No, I'm surprised. I'm not. I'm not like. I used to watch wrestling a lot, actually, back in back in the day. But now, see, I was like, huh. Wonder how many takes because in the second slide game you have to throw things twice. I guess this one, they're like, okay, you know what? Guys, the These are like You're all clear. barrels. This thing's Great. heavy. I'm going in. Anyway, um, then Slaz like, I got this. And I'm like, do you got this? Do you? Do you? Do you? Yeah, you do. You got this. You go, girl. You go, girl. He's like, let me just leave my calling card. Really think you were gonna get away. Carmelita's got the do bling. And like the tiniest waist ever. Like, she doesn't hey, eat. Carmelita. Well, I guess her waist, oh, her stomach is... Like, I'm pretty sure that's her spine. Like, you can... There, there is no belly there. So that's like, I'm out. And, you know, this all could have been avoided if they just had used some communication. So good old fancy communication. I'm sorry for that. Now it's the last lag. Howdy five thousand dog! No, he said au revoir. It's totally That's different. It. Totally off, different. Now you get a... Oh, yeah. You get like a left and right. And I want to take note that that's one fence that we've gone through. Two fences that we've gone through. Two fences. Watch out for those trees! They're like, Murray, what are you doing? He's like, I'm setting up. Or, I didn't even, I don't know about you guys, but I didn't even, like, see what the ramp was. Because he needed it, too, I guess. But, now we're, now we're going for it. We're going places, girls. Let's get out of here. Let's get, let, let, let's get out of here. Mary's like, mm -hmm. You got it, Sean. Do not slow down, Murray. I thought about singing there for a second, but I was like, no. So like Cooper, thieves in time. Anyway, this is where I'm gonna end off my commentary. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you for part three. Well, what else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is complicated, and I just succeeded in upgrading it to hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I'd kind of been counting on it. 
But then, I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listo to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to contact Dimitri no matter where or when we traveled. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur. But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip. We needed to locate Ryuichi Cooper, Master Ninja, and Master Chef. According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. After creating this delectable dish, he opened a sushi restaurant, which, while very prosperous, also provided the perfect cover for a ninja. When we got to Japan, it was obvious something was very wrong. What should have been a peaceful village was more like a heavily patrolled military base. We located Ryuichi Sushi Restaurant only to find it shut down and under guard. Things got worse when Bentley discovered that Ryuichi was locked up in a new high security jail, allegedly for serving bad sushi to the Shogun. It all sounded like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. We needed to get to the bottom of the situation and the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison. 